be. You can't allow Guad to stay in front of you and start uh, weaving his web. What an opportunity here for Greg Lobbin. Get that first game and really ask a few questions of Gawad. Like, are you with us? A few sound effects there, he did make it though. Oh, what a score, that's wonderful. The crowd really appreciating that one here at Canary Wharf. What a roar, that has, that's the biggest roar we've had all night. Nine. That was too casual from Gawad and it was punished duly. Very, very soft hands from Tigger. Stay on court, please. We can't check it. The ball was good. 11 7 came to Lobin. Lobin leads one game to last. Good lead, but Lobin's been on at this score for uh, two or three minutes now. Gawad doing his best to, to stop the rot. Poor shot from Gawad, but Four one. kind of hits inside out on that one. Getting it into the side wall, running to hit check. He? Yeah, obviously just a bit of frustration there for Lobb, and he knew he played a loose ball and had such a majorly big lead, but this is what Gawad does to players. Kind of offers them the chalice and then suddenly takes it away. Yeah, this is absolutely crucial now for his quality again. What a shot that was. Great hands, quick hands. Wow. Very, very quick hands. Wristy, which is nice to see. He really deserved that uh, huge applause from the crowd. Nine, you know, that's seven. kind of part of his game where he's, he's a Scotsman's sizing it up. Good serve into the side wall. He's got the oh, stroke. It has to be. Yeah. It is a stroke. He gets it. That's he huge. <laughs> he gets it. He gets it. He gets it. And it's his first win. Over Gawad. He's uh, beaten Mezanesham. He's beaten Kareem after Gawad. He's had fantastic support here at Canary Wharf. The Flying Scott. times did he say six then? I find it amazing that the guys haven't played in the last couple of years. Yeah, three and a half years almost. It's a long, long old time. When you think about they've been 
for the injury of first Suki, they're in relatively similar ranking brackets. Down. Well, the crowd really. <laughs> just power from the wrist. Ten down. With a shimmy with the shoulder. Yeah. Nine Looked like it was going to be a cross court. Suzuki <laughs> certainly thought that way. Yeah, 6 10 to 8 10 can just make you that little bit nervous, even though you've still got the two game balls. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Ball comes it. back. Yeah, he's wrapped it. Oh, he's made the error. The Suki makes the error. Game to Some really entertaining score. You can see the smiles from the crowd. Really enjoying this between these two talented Egyptian players. A few opportunities each side. The Suki just wouldn't expect him to make errors. He's made a few kind of silly errors from loose balls there. He usually tidies up really well. Oh, this is uh, starting to bubble. Starting to bubble, Parkey. 8-5, Dasuki's responding. He's too good a player not to. I mean, the last time they did play was a, a long Just a time. mere spring chicken. Just a youth. Dasuki's done it. Low killed the forehand side, as Parkey said. Is there that belief factor for the bullet? With not having... A victory over Dasuki for nearly seven years. Oh, he's done it again. I can't Even believe that this time. It was. <laughs> he's, he's only topped off the one previously. This was even further back in the court, even shorter, and hit with even more power. And even deader. How does he do it? really That's quite dangerous oh he's oh, absolutely miscued it it's a real shame oh he's saying sweat yeah sweat on the ball he very rarely does he ever misjudge anything like that but uh Ferris the Suki gets the victory two games to one. looking very Eight, very 11, up for 11, it 7, 11, but uh, great performance in the end from Ferris the Suki Took him a while to get into it, but when he did, goodness me, he hit some shots. Moved better, actually, as the match went on, Parky. He certainly did. He, he deserved it in the end. We were very unsure. That ball, he really does, and that helps with the disguise, doesn't it? He's got no chance there, Tarot Moment, even with his lightning speed. Good bit of wrist there again from Elias. Red by Moment, though. Yeah. Oh, it's a, becoming a, a flick fest. A flick fest, should we say, Parky. Oh. 
Great rally. The movement was okay for me. Hello. Well, he's done nothing wrong there, Tarek Moment. He's just the ball away and out of that front area of the court. Two game balls for the world champion. And that's well taken. 11 8 game for Moment. Moment leads. One game to love. Well, he looks happy, that chap. Oh. Oh. I mean, apart from a couple of little miss, miss hits here and there, every time these guys win points, it's with real quality finishing the Viper. <laughs> so two game balls for the Peruvian Cuba. Easy for you to say. It's contagious. Let's not go down that route. Crowd will erupt though if he can convert. So they want to see another game between these two. That's for sure. Eleven eight. One game. All this crowd wants to see. Really humor equalizing. When it's when it's good, it really is very very good. I mean the attention to detail. It's brilliant. And that's where he is such so a natural squash player. This uh, huge talent from South America starting to mature. We saw enough interference for yes, lad. 4 3. Good pressure for Moment. You can see he's really trying to turn the screw a bit here. Nice hold. Yeah. Unbelievable width. Great width. I mean, again, we talk about the angles. This was quite close to his body, and he was Five quite over three. on. I mean, I don't know how he got that angle. I have no idea. Slightly strange, but it's kind of we slightly miss it from our angle. It's an unbelievable shot. Oh my goodness me! This is ridiculous movement and shot Out. play. Yeah. Too much pressure. Tarek moment. It's the Max best third game I've seen Tarek moment play for quite a while, Max actually. I mean, well, that, that particular third game, not 11, as it was eight, a third eight, game, but. 11, 11, six. Yeah, he was so impressive, so impressive. I mean, we, we talk about his I mean, you do get the occasional player who can argue with the referee and then play better afterwards, but I think that is more the exception than the norm. That's the strength. That's the strength I was talking and about, kind of Jahangir Khan -esque. Eight, seven. <laughs> he's, got his, he's got his arms quite wide as he's posturing. But look mm. at that. The way he snaps onto that there and mm. wallops it so hard. Oh, Ali Farag switching it back around. Another game ball. The number two seed. Heavy forehand from Dasuki. Oh my look. It's all forehands from Dasuki. Oh, oh, it was all forehands. And that Farag is what we're talking about with the pressure of Ali Farag's movement. Arms and legs, the ball's coming back, the ball's coming back. That's what Forces. Dasuki has to do. He has to change the pace. So. There you can see with his movement, Tazuki's movement, he really got onto the ball extremely quickly. And then that put Farag out of his comfort zone. Oh my word. 
look at that improvisation. I mean, that is outrageous, the way he struck. You Seven can't teach six. that. The way he took this with his wrist, he's come in here fully stretched. Look at the power as well. Oh, my word. It didn't have to be it's tight. And the work rate he's put in in a very, very high-class match. Yeah. And there is the roar from Ferris Kasuki. One game all. Crowd loving it. Really thinking about the if ball and how it's bouncing. If, it, if it's cramp, you need to continue, Mr. Tasuki. Please continue. He's got cramp. Yeah, he's got to get on with it. You have to continue or you concede the game. It's not a cramp. It's not a cramp. Play on, please. Five, two. Yeah, he's definitely got cramp. And that's, yeah, that's, he's, he's definitely yeah, he's, he's, de he's got, it's a nightmare. It's you cramp, can't. you have to concede. He keeps saying it's not a cramp. But I can clearly see it's cramp. It's not a cramp. It's not a cramp. <laughs> it's, he knows it. Jason Foster's been there before. We've all been there. Cramp, it just can't move when it's like that. It That's a conduct match. Conduct match to Mr. Farag. It's cramp. I'm ever so sorry, but that's match to Mr. Farag. If it, that's, I mean... In terms of Pete, like in terms of the actual, I mean, if it is cramped, the, the good news for him is that well, it's got to be cramped. He can't, he can, he's really struggling to walk. But it, if it is cramped, mm. he's at least going to be okay for the next events, which are coming thick and fast. If that was a muscle pull or tear, he'd be out for a good, particularly in that area. It kind of looks like it's his kind of hamstring adductor area. I just feel. I really do feel this is going to be one of those matches that's going to be nip and tuck all the way, which is wonderful. I, I, sometimes with these guys, you get a, a dominance of one player and then suddenly in the next game, a dominance of the other. It's not meeting in the middle. I think they've already started to meet in the middle a bit here. Yeah, Tarot will be very happy with his scoreboard, though, early in the match. Getting a three-point lead at this stage is, uh, is a big lead, really. Um, you can see... He's Taking the ball in short, his, uh, his margins are very good. Sticking the ball to the sidewall, that's exactly what he wants to see. Yeah. Oh, and a nice little block yeah. there. <laughs> Without any risk. It's, it, it, I mean, this is where he just becomes nearly unplayable. I mean, he's not giving three points. There we go. Four. So game what a moment. first game for Tarek Moment. When I talk about the meeting in the middle, there was a bit of a stage early doors, but then Tarek Moment completely run ref away. thought it was okay. So the arrow count needs to be eliminated at this latter stage of the second for a moment. Nine. That's better from Shivagi. Lengthen the court there with a good ball to the back to equalise in this first semi final. Shabagi starts to thump his chest like King Kong. Managing to equalise. Still relatively subdued so far between these two. Yeah, around the right hand side of Moman. But uh, Shabagi very clever. You've got to be careful going into the front of the court when he's, uh, when he's on your back like that. <laughs> when the beast is behind you, yeah. <laughs> You've got to be very careful. Yeah, he won't miss a trick. For a 2 Six one lead. 
Good tight work, no pace on it. Well, Shabagi once again pounds his chest. Tarek moment has gone really, really flat. Seeing the finish line now, El Shabagi in this fourth game. It's just a matter of time now. Shabagi in Nine, six. pole position. He's taking a bit of time as well. This is very apparent from him. He's There it is, and that's the story, really. Three games to one. Not taking anything away from Mohamed El Shabagi, but the error count was uh, very high from Tarek Moment. Very, very high. Well, you can see what that means to Shabagi. Farag unleashing a bit there, not finding the nick. Good pressure from Shabagi. There's the grunt. It's a uh, oh, great rally. rally. Immaculate rally. Acknowledged by Farag. Good pressure there, Lee. It was. It was a great rally. Great retrieval from Farag going into the back corners there, but uh, he'll have taken a great deal of confidence from this shot, El Shabagi. And there's the error from Farag. There's the error, Mohamed El Shabagi. Gets his focus. Still two game balls, but this is getting a bit edgy. He needs to take this now. Because Mohamed El Shabagi suddenly. Oh my oh, word! Unbelievable Absolutely shot. Absolutely ripped that out. He Nine might be looking ten. a little bit jaded, but suddenly the adrenaline game surges, ball. and that's the raw strength of the beast. That was very athletic. Look at this. Oh, brilliant. It's like a routine. It's an unbelievable game. Oh, oh, it's 
a belter. It's a belter. Spider-Man threading through the bow snick, which is torturous to play against. It's a very frustrating shot when you see the ball flying away. You get there and it just hits the nick, plop. Where does he get that shot? I don't know. Though? Unbelievable. He plays it so <laughs> relaxed. She wasn't impressed, but I tell you, the rest of us were. Balls for a 2-1 lead, Lee. Can't be leaving balls like that for Farag. He's got to be a little bit tighter. Baggy looking so dangerous. Oh, he's given up on that one. Six, Ali Farag literally Baggy gives Baggy up Lee. on that one. Yeah. Asking Two for a new ball. Interesting. So Ali Paul it is a poor width. And to be fair, Shibagi did just step back to the tee. I'm not sure he went too far into Farag's line there. I didn't see him do anything really there. It was just a bad width from Farag. Oh, he's made the error. He's made the error. he's made the error. He's made the error. That width 14 went unpunished, but it's punished Farag. Well, he's going to be lucky to get away with that, I think. So Mohamed El Shabagi serving with his second championship ball here in London. chance he's gone for it yeah, it comes back though Shabagi's bounding around again this is where his another release of adrenaline is going in he's looking strong on the ball he's, oh, he's, he's in the tin he's walloped the tin Shabagi's done it Shabagi's done it Ali Farag walloping the tin Mohamed El Shabagi managing to stave off a fifth game I don't think he'd have been able to do the fifth game in terms of this quality but it doesn't matter because he manages to convert 15-13 in the fourth with Ali Farag. A very, very nail-biting ending to it all. El Shabagi, the St. James's Place 2020 Canary Wharf Classic champion.